Hello there. In this video, we are going to create B and W logo, which looks like this. So let's start. So I'm using GAMP tool. And uh, for that, initially, I have this uh, white background image. So uh, just for the sake of designing, I'm going to turn on the guides by going to the image option and then choose show guides. And uh, then uh, you can choose the uh, how much uh, art, how much distance the guides has to be. So I have chosen one vertical one and one horizontal one at 50 50 so that I can get the center of the image. Now uh, our approach is we are going to start from the inner circle and then moving to the farthest one. So let's make the blue circle first. Okay, so place it at the center, fill it with the blue color using bucket tool. Okay, I'm going to fill it on a new layer so that I can customize it as per my wish later on. So fill it with the blue color. Next, I'm going to create one more layer for the black circle. So again, using the eclipse select tool, you can make the circles. Okay, so Okay, uh, I need to make the circle again. So choose the layer again, wherever you want to draw this. So making the circle again. Alright. Okay. So fill it with the black color now using the bucket tool. You can see I cannot see the blue one. So I need to change the position of the layer. So you can simply drag it or you can use the green arrows which are given at the bottom of layers palette and change uh, put blue color circle on the top of black one. Next, I'm going to make a thin border line which is black in color and uh, so again I need to use the eclipse select tool and after this okay so let me set the distance properly Okay, after this, I'm going to choose the select option and then border and going to set border of one pixel only and then fill this uh, border with the black color so that I can get a ring here. And once you deselect everything, you will get the ring around these circles. Okay, so let's move to the next step. Uh, I need uh, the white portion here. So I'm use so very simple to follow. I'm just using the rectangle select tool and then fill it with the white color. You will see that once I fill it with the white color, okay, that area changed because I have selected the wrong layer. I need to select the blue one. Okay, so simply select the blue layer only the color which I, uh, the area which I have selected on the blue circle will be selected. And then I can fill that area with the white color. Okay, so choose it, fill it with the white color and uh, we got our work done. Next, we need to type the text. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the guides and uh, then simply, okay, we need the text. So choose the font tool. Okay, I need the guides back so that uh, let me drag it so that there's a symmetry of B and W and they are placed at the right location. Uh, why it's not working? Let me try one more time. Oh, I guess I forgot to turn on the show guides option. So I need to go back to the view and show guides. See, I got multiple guides here. 
so let me get re rid of the extra ones all right so just scaling it okay so let's go back to our image and uh, start typing the letter b set the height width thickness uh, of the font as per the requirement and uh, uh, you can see b is bit rotated so we'll use the rotate tool to rotate the letter b and uh, then i'm going to use okay, let me rotate it a bit more okay then you can use the move tool to place it at the correct position okay so i guess this is looking fine so in the similar manner you can start typing the letter m uh i guess let me check the size of this so that i can get all the letters of same size it's of 30 pixel so let's get back and follow repeat the steps again first rotate tool and then move tool okay so now type the letter m keep all the settings same bold it uh, the size was 30 and uh, okay now using the move tool i can place it a bit on the top okay now moving to the last letter which is w following the same steps again Make sure whenever you are using move tool, you have selected the correct layer. Okay, uh, you can see while uh, wherever you will put your cursor, that area will be moved. So I need to be very careful over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to merge all the layers together so that it will become a single image so that the symmetry of the design will not be disturbed when I'm using the move tool. Okay, simply right click and merge down. And uh, I'm going to delete this W and uh, I'm going to use very silly approach use uh, turning m into w because uh the design the font w wasn't good looking good so i'm using m rotated m as w over here i know it sounds silly but i guess that will look better okay let me rotate it by 180 degree then use use the move tool okay be careful choose the correct layer <clears throat> all right so i guess it's done now 
so this is uh let me okay it's done you can merge all the layers and get the final image of bmw logo or and then you can save it so uh, i guess these are the steps which you need to follow in order to design simple bmw logo in camp and uh, i hope you have liked the video for any kind of suggestion you can follow the link given in the description below thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, take care of yourself bye bye